Yes, yes, you already know who this is. This is your boy, Mr. Yee Yee. But anyways, you know, Rudy from No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal. You know, just giving another tip of the day. You know, the job is not yours until you're at the client's house loading the situations. So let me tell you. You know, like I tell a lot of people, you know, I'm not perfect. A lot of you out there think I'm perfect, but I'm not perfect. I'm trying to tell you, I'm not Mr. Perfect. You already know. Spit the gum out. Throw it. Remember WWF, Mr. Perfect? Yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm that old. Anyways, so, you know, you know, me and his client been going back and forth for months now. And, you know, finally scheduled on a date to do the job, you know finally agreed to do the job on this date you know client was trying to get a, a price out of me didn't want to give it to this client you know client sent me pictures and pictures and pictures and you know just didn't want to just still didn't want to give the job you know finally client reached out to me again and said hey i know we have this time booked can we do it a little earlier now uh, uh, out of nowhere i don't have to work so i already knew something was fishy so I said, okay, no problem. I got a doctor's appointment. Let's do it right after. So we agreed on the time and place. And, you know, this client asked me, you know, Rudy, let me know how much money I should go get from the bank because I want to pay you cash. So I said, okay, no problem. But we accept all forms of payment. So, you know, anyways, so, you know, this client's just like, you, 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 you know, I want to make it easier for you. I want to make it easier for you. So I was like, okay. So, you know, in mind, in my mind, we already have the job booked. We already have a time. You know, this client's already been reaching out to me all this whole time and we already got it going. So I said, okay, well, you know, I'll do you a favor since you want to go to the ATM and give me my money. But, you know, so I get this client from a ballpark figure from this to way over here just to throw him off because I'm not going to give the real price until I get there. So I told the client with that being way over here, that's the highest. But, you know, I'm definitely going to work with you and give you a deal since we already have it booked and scheduled and been talking this long and doing all this. So, of course, this client was like, no problem. I'm on the way to the bank. So I said, okay, cool. So, you know, this client had a whole garage clean out. So, you know, I, I already knew it was going to be some work in to fill my thing up, my situation, my trailer. So, you know, so, you know, about 40 minutes later, this client texts me back, you know, Hey, 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 Mr. Yee Yee, you know, uh, unfortunately, I apologize so much, but we're not going to be able to do the job today. So I so, you know, she, this client, you know, text me a whole paragraph of of what's going on. I didn't even reply back. But what? You don't wasted my time. I booked you in a schedule. I reserved your time and, you know, your space in my schedule because I'm a busy man. You know, and you and, and you did all that to me. And the only reason this went sour, this went south, pew, because I gave this client what they wanted. From I gave this client, I didn't give this client what they wanted the whole time. But I messed up. I'm not perfect. Mr. Yee Yee is not perfect. I slipped and gave this client a ballpark, a ballpark number from here to over there. And guess what? I already know what this client did. This client that fast reached out to other haulers in my area. And guess what? Since she had a ballpark figure, she got it for cheaper from one of them, which is no problem. I salute them for getting the job. And, you know, I'm glad a hauler is getting the job. But, you know, I messed up by giving this person that ballpark price. When I tell myself all the time, I tell a lot of people... Do not give those prices over the phone. Do not give them what they want. That costs money. That costs, you know, they should be paying you to, for that information. And what I do, I give them that ballpark price. And what they do, they fished around for it. They fished around for it, for what they wanted to get the job done for. Because I already know what the job was done. I already know it's going to be a trailer. At least a half a, tra a good half a trailer. Nah, three quarters of a trailer. That's why I smashed everything down in my trailer the other day, as you've seen, to prepare for this job. So, you know, the moral of the story is Mr. Yee Yee 
it's not perfect. And you know, I had my one slip up of the month. And you know, I shouldn't have did that. But like I say, stick to your rules. Don't bend over. Don't do it. You know, stand your grounds. That's what I should have did. Don't give prices over the phone. You know, don't do it. You're just going to lose because in a, that fast, the job can change. And just like that, we had the job booked, uh, 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 some money, everything, and it changed just like that because I slipped. I messed up. I fell for the old banana in a tailpipe. So the moral of the story is, you know, stick to your grounds. Don't give these clients nothing until they pay you. And the biggest, the biggest category of this story is it's not your job until you're at the house and you're hauling the items inside of your truck or trailer or van or whatever you got. That's when it's your job. So, you know, take this, some advice from your boy, Mr. Yee Yee, and let it help you. And I hope, and I, 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 I very, very hope this helps you. You know, make sure you like and subscribe. Support the movement because we got so many videos coming. You know, the season's coming. We're getting money. And it's coming, baby. The weather's getting better. And we're just keep on getting money. I'm off to another estimate. And you know what? While that job went south, I got another job. You know, a Yelp came in. And my phone rang about four times with other job estimates. You know, uh, one goes sour, five more come in. That's how it is when people know who you are. And they know how to reach you. Hello. So, I brushed that off. Now... I'm going to go get money other places. And, you know, every job is not your job. And that's just what proved to me that this job was not my job. Thought it was, but it wasn't. And, you know, I'm kind of glad because this client was a problem client. An undercover heart attack. And, you know, as soon as that job hung up, a Yelp came, job came in. And boom, I got paid. Just like that. 20 minutes. But you'll see it on the other video. But, you know, this is your boy, Mr. Yee Yee.